Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about you and the person that you are thinking about connecting with or will be connecting with. What are the energies between you and how do you feel about each other? We're going to look at all of that. Keep in mind that this reading is for the Virgo Collective, so it will not resonate for every Virgo watching 100%. Take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right in for Virgo. Let's just slide into these for Virgo. For Virgo. Virgo, I do have a book, Love Tarot Made Easy, which is featured um, on my table. And um, it goes into all 78 cards of the tarot and how you can interpret for love. It's available on Amazon Prime with free shipping. It's linked in the description box if you're curious. Just wanted to give my book a little shout out because I don't really talk about it much. All right, so let's jump right in. For Virgos, Spirit Angels, guys, what messages do we have for Virgo regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What does Virgo need to know about this connection? What does Virgo need to know about the energy? person okay energies between you we have the three of cups and the ten of swords so there's probably an ending that has already taken place here with the ten of swords now the three of cups I you know it could be interpreted as like a third person so there could have been someone that got in the way of your connection or this could be about a reunion coming together and then seven of wait Seven of Cups will be on your side. Um, the third card here will be the bottom of the deck and the lovers. Okay, so you are thinking about this connection. I guess you're trying to decide what the future will be. Maybe you're confused, have doubts, are not sure. Okay, and then on their side, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Hangman. I feel like they're thinking as well, but they're thinking about working on something or a third person we'll have to see what that's all about when we clarify bottom of the deck okay we have the six of wands that'll go here um so this is the overall energy for the reading success recognition victory that's a good sign could be that one of you want success in this connection your mutual energies are here so this could be how you feel how this other person feels or a mix of the two but there is definitely some sort of difficult ending here um, that's relevant. Like a, an ending is relevant in this reading. Gemini energy with the lovers. Let's get some um, overall energies out here. Sorry. Tell me more about the energies between Virgo and this other person. What do we need to know about the overall energies of this connection for Virgo? our energies walking away departure journey movement so one of you walked away from this connection or like I said this is relevant like one of you probably has to walk away from something in the present but yeah I'm getting that there was definitely an ending here between you all right I'm going to use two new decks today a PS I love you deck which is down here and then the one that I'm using right now is the Ever After Oracle deck. These will be available on my Etsy um, in a few weeks. I'm just testing them out now. So far, I'm really enjoying them and I hope you guys like them. So let's see, what do we need to know about the overall energies for Virgo? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about the overall energies? <coughs> Excuse me for Virgo glass coffin endings closure new cycles yes there was definitely already an ending here I get the sense that you are thinking about this a lot you are this other person you're thinking about what has already happened in this connection maybe you didn't get closure maybe closure is something that you would like to have what else? What else for Virgo? Wicked stepsister. Jealousy, drama, interference. Oh yeah, so there was definitely, I think this is going to be a third party reading. 
It could be a sibling, another partner, a parent, co-worker, friend, etc., etc., etc. I think one of you walked away from the other due to an interference. Bottom of the deck, we have once upon a dream. I know you, that gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Past lovers, soulmates coming together. So I feel like even though you're not together, there's still an energy here of thinking of the other person, feeling like they're your soulmate and coming together, wanting to come together, wanting to reunite. So let's get some clarity here. I'm going to use a little clarifier deck. Let's start with the mutual energies between you, and then I'll jump into your individual energies here. So Virgo. All right, angels, guys, what do we need to know? What do we need to know for Virgo? Well, let's start with the Six of Wands. This is the overall energy of this reading, the foundation, the root of everything that's going on. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Wow, the world. I definitely, you know, we're getting a lot of confirmation the more cards that come out. Someone's thinking about a new beginning, an ending and a beginning. The world is about closing a chapter to start a new one, closing a cycle to start a new one. We have new cycles here and endings with Glass Coffin. Can I get one more, please, for the Six of Wands? What do we need to know about the Six of Wands? The Knight of Cups. So I feel like someone's going to want to start this new cycle by expressing how they feel, apologizing to the other person. Again, Virgo, take this as it resonates. This could be your energy, your person's energy, or a mix of both. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Empress. Oh, yeah. I feel like someone got in the middle of you and this other person. Possibly a feminine energy. Yep, Two of Cups. I feel like a soulmate connection ended due to a third party. And there you are, Virgo, with the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you still think about this. It affected you. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? The Nine of Swords. Anxiety, fear, stress. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Yeah, whoever this third person was, they really made things difficult. Ten of Cups. And then the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy there. Again, I get the sense that someone got in the way of what was otherwise a really good connection or a connection with a lot of potential. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments, Virgo. But I feel like whoever this was, they definitely caused an ending. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to say that it was on purpose that they caused an ending, but they definitely did. So let's jump into your individual energies. I have you on the left and your person on the right, but you can flip the energies if they resonate more. The energies could be vice versa. So let's start over here with the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're trying to figure something out here. Trying to make a decision. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. And then the Star, Aquarius energy. Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. I, you know, there's a few ways I can interpret this. One way that I can interpret this is that someone is thinking about the other person's choices or options, right? Like this could be you thinking about what this person will inev uh, eventually do, what action they'll take. You know, it's like you're kind of trying to figure out what they have going on over there and how that will affect you. 
Others of you, I feel like this is you thinking about your options in terms of how you can fix this or what your act, what actions you need to take to make something happen with this other person. So there's two ways that I can look at that right off the bat. Let's see, why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The devil again. Why is the lovers here for Virgo? Do I need to know? The chariot, cancer energy. So I think you're wondering, and there's a six of wands. Again, I'm getting two messages. Um, bear with me because I feel like I'm reading for possibly two sets of Virgos. Some of you, and, and this could be that you're, you know, now that I'm thinking about the two ways I can interpret this, I feel like this could even be for one person's situation, like both scenarios fit. So this could be that you're wondering if this person that you are interested in, if they're going to be walking away from this attachment that they're in, that is separate from you. Um, and then the other others of you, I feel like you're wondering if you should be the one to make the move. Should I be the one that makes the first move that tells this other person how I feel? You know, will that be successful? Because I feel like some of you are wondering if you and this person do have a future together because someone got in the way. So is this meant for you? That's kind of the energy I'm picking up there. Let's look at this other person over here. Why is the three of pentacles here? Why is the three of pentacles here? The two of pentacles. So this person is debating which one. That's kind of what I'm getting here. What should I do? Tell me about the three of pentacles. The higher font, Taurus energy. And it could be because that this person, maybe they ended up in a long-term commitment with the third party maybe there's a marriage involved or perhaps this person's just focused on playing like happy family or wanting to do the right thing by this other person even if they're not happy you know that does happen that a third party gets in the way of two people that had a really strong connection they end up together and they're not truly happy but it would be wrong to kind of leave them in the dust <laughs> i feel the higher font here with the two of pentacles is someone that's debating on what choices they have because they care about how they are seen by other people the higher font is all about like societal pressure conforming traditions following the laws the rules the regulations you know, keeping up with the Joneses, that's the higher font. Um, very conservative. Um, but it, it could also be that this is a long-term commitment or a marriage. What's this? Wow, three of swords. Definitely, whoever this is, they're not happy where they're at. Seven of pentacles um, at the bottom of the deck. I just thought some cost fallacy. I didn't hear it, but I thought it. Sometimes I hear things being said, but... In this instance, I, I thought right away, sunk cost fallacy. If you don't know what that is, look it up because it goes into detail. But the general gist is you spent so much time on something that you don't want to give up because all of your time would have been wasted. This person's not happy. They're not happy over there. I'm losing my... <clears throat> I just lost my voice for no reason. Um, they're not happy where they're at. Tell me about the hangman. They could be stuck, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, um, or just, you know, they're maybe starting to see things differently with the hangman. Justice, Libra energy, six of wands shows up again. You know, I feel like they think about you, but I don't think they're able to make a move. Because I feel like for some reason, they're thinking about making things right with you with justice. Yeah, the sun. This person wants to be happy. There's the Eight of Pentacles. Perhaps they're working on how to bring this happiness to their lives. Um, but
But when I saw justice there, I thought this person wants to make things right with you because something must have happened with you and this person, Virgo. <clears throat> they're stuck now, right? They're dealing with the consequences of their own actions. But perhaps they're realizing that, you know, I should be working on getting out of this situation or I should be putting in energy or effort into my own happiness because I'm not happy. So let's get some insight on your energies here. Tell me more for Virgo. What are their energies? The energies between Virgo and this other person. Tell me about Virgo's energy. And Virgo, remember that these can be vice versa or interchangeable. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. Unfinished business. Oh yeah, so you have unfinished business with this person. A lack of closure, right? We've, we've mentioned that already. What else for Virgo? Everything reminds me of you. So you're thinking about this person, maybe looking at photos, social media, maybe something comes up in conversation that makes you think about this person. And bottom of the deck, please wait for me just a little bit longer. Um, I'm taking this as, you know, I, I don't think this person is, I mean, they could be making you wait, you know, like maybe you have already talked to this person. Um, but what I'm getting with this energy is, is unspoken. Like, I don't think this is something you've heard from this person. I think this is what this person is thinking. Virgo, please wait for me just a little bit longer. You might not know it, but I feel like because in their mind, I really think they know that they belong with you. That they should have a relationship or connection with you. Um, because they're not happy where they're at. And I think that's why the Knight of Cups is here. All right, tell me about Virgo's person, this other person that Virgo's thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know about their energies? Okay, I got two here. I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Exactly what I was just saying. They know that they belong with you. Thinking of you, yeah. Bottom of the deck, regretting the past. I mean, exactly what we've already been talking about in this reading. This is very clear energy. Let me get one more ever after to wrap this up. Spirit, what else do we need to know about this connection with Virgo and this other person? What else do we need to know about this connection? Something there. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love, realizations, second chances. Exactly. I feel like you and this person potentially we'll have a second chance with each other. I feel like there's an opportunity here to reconnect. And if it hadn't been for an interference, I feel like you and this person would already be together, would already be reconnecting. Um, because they don't see themselves with anyone else but you. And I feel like you feel like this is unfinished business. Like you at least want to know where this could go. Let me know if that resonates for you in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.